right, so in this video, I'm going to be unloading my sterilizer. This is a 85 gallon single drum sterilizer, and um, it ran for 20 hours at 200 Fahrenheit with about 300 some odd pounds of substrate in here in bags. They're all in 10 pound bags. And if I let this sit on its own, it would take about uh, probably about a week and a half to two weeks to actually cool down enough to be uh, cool down enough to unload it and, and be ready for inoculation. So what I do is I'll let it run for about a week. It'll still be about 100 degrees, something like that. And um, then I'll unload it. Right now it's 100 after, I think I ran it four days ago. And I actually have some spawn. So a follow up on the spawn that I did atmospheric. The key thing is you have to pre-seal it. So these are already sealed. And then I, I hydrated it, sealed it, and, and uh, loaded it on top. So these will get cooled in front of the flow hood. These are all the T filters for the, the spawn. You gotta use T filters and you gotta pre, pre uh, seal them or, or your chance of contamination is pretty bad. Out of the three bags that I did in the last batch, I lost one of them. The other two turned out fine. So I have the flow hoods on. The rack is right here. Um, what I do is I try to keep myself between the flow hoods and the rack, and that's just out of uh, just an extra precaution. These bags are not sealed, so they kind of have a little bit of a vacuum seal. You can see they they uh, they seal themselves a little bit, but it's not completely sealed. So from here, they're going to sit on the rack, and I will st single uh, stack them. I don't want to double stack them up because if I do that, then it'll take longer to cool. You want to give them at least a day sitting out like this and then they're good for inoculation. Um, if you're doing a quicker cycle, if you're running these for 24 hours and unloading them as soon as 24 hours ends, you'd probably want to give them a little bit more than a day. Uh, but it also depends on the, your room temperature too. So if it's the summertime and you don't have this room air conditioned, it's going to take longer for them to cool down opposed to cranking on the air conditioner that I have up there and, and bringing them down to 70 um, in a couple hours with a, with a big air conditioning unit. It gets really hot in here, unloading this thing, especially if you unload it while it's very hot. Right now these bags are about 103 degrees. They're not super hot, but it'll definitely raise the temperature in this room for a good day. So, uh, pretty much that's it. And you can see how they're, they're stacked in here. So that's how they, they look when they're done. They turn into kind of hockey pucks and they're all different shapes and sizes, but that's the nature of the beast. Uh, putting a square peg in a round hole. These are kind of squarish, that's kind of roundish. You're going to have that happen. I'm working on another steamer design with, uh, with TR Davis. Me and him are going to be, be building uh, new, new steamers that are going to be square. So hopefully uh, those product, that product will be available soon. Uh, until then, stay tuned. We're working on our initial model right now. and. Uh, the grow, this grow is actually moving. So the sterilizer's moving out, fruiting chamber's moving out. It's gonna go to Andre's place. So it'll be there starting on Sunday. And then uh, for those of you that don't, don't know, I'm gonna be leaving uh, El Paso in, in February of 2019. So I got like eight months left. And my plan is I'm gonna be doing, uh, building uh, everything up ahead of time. So I don't, when I get to my next base, I'll be ready to run with, with my feet, you know, ready to, ready to go with my, my uh, feet on the ground running, whatever the heck the term is. I hacked that. But yeah, I'm going to hit the ground running. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, I'm actually going to have a nine foot or an eight foot flow hood table. I'm building down flow flow hoods using HEPA modules. I already have them. Uh, I'm going to have a video on rebuilding HEPA modules. And then um, I'm also, I actually got my new sealer already. So we got a double 10 millimeter here. It's pretty nice. Uh, so I'm playing around with that. I'm going to be mounting this. And uh, yeah, lot, lots more to come. I'm going to be working on a bagger. I'm going to be working on multiple baggers. I'm going to make my knife valve bagger and then make a weight bagger too. So stay tuned. Lots to come. YouTube, you tried knocking me down, but I'm calling back. So all right, take it easy. Keep on mushrooming. Give me a thumbs up. And I don't post on YouTube. So come over to Vimeo if you want to uh, comment and have some questions or whatever, I'll res respond there. I'm not responding to YouTube comments. So, all right, take it easy. And don't forget to subscribe to Patreon.